Hello everyone! Welcome to QQ E News presented by QQ English. I'm the host, Paxton. How was your Lunar New Year? Did you get the chance to travel abroad? The Philippines is a world-class travel spot as it draws many Chinese tourists. Do you remember in the previous QQ E News, we introduced some land vehicles here in the Philippines. For instance, the jeepney, tricycle, and taxi. In addition, the Philippines has over 7,000 islands, so there is a great importance for sea vehicles. Today, we are going to take a look at sea transportation here in the Philippines. When it comes to the most used sailing vessels in the Philippines, bangka boats will definitely come to mind. The hull is narrow but long. Both the port and the starboard has either two wooden or bamboo outriggers. The shape of these outriggers resembles crab legs, which is the reason why this kind of boat is called bangka. The unique parts of bangka boats play an important role in balance, so that even coming across furious waves, the boat can still be able to sail smoothly. In short, bangka boats turn all the exciting island hopping dreams into reality. The bangka boat can either be rented for diving or sightseeing. It runs using a gasoline motor and the sound of it can sometimes make enough noise to wake the dead. <laughs> Therefore, if you plan to travel using a bangka boat, earplugs could be your good friends. Small tip! If you plan to travel by yourself and you worry about becoming seasick, we suggest you hit the road earlier in the morning when it's low tide. At noon, the waves get furious, so it's more likely to cause seasickness. The bangka boats are perfect for wandering between small islands. If you feel like going on a long distance journey, you certainly need to rely on ferries. The popular routes from Cebu to Bohol Island are Cebu to Tagbilaran and Cebu to Tubigon. The earliest boat leaves at 5.45 a.m. and the latest leaves at 6.45 p.m. The travel time takes about an hour. Small tips. Paying taxes is required when taking a ferry. Checking luggage will also be an extra fee. In addition, make sure you don't miss out on the exciting and adventurous speedboat. Enjoying the different shades of blue on a speedboat will definitely be a highlight of your trip. And that's all for QQE News today. If you would like to know more about learning English in the Philippines, please follow our social media accounts. Thank you for watching and see you next time!